Welcome to Math in a Box with Susan Johnson. The purpose of this video is to give you a walkthrough of how to enter the class and the first few things that you're supposed to do. In After you make your payment to Google, there are four or five items you must send me. I cannot set up your student account until I have those four items, so send me an email. The four items that I need are the name of the student, the email address of the student, be sure this, that is accurate, the name of this class, the order or transaction number, or instead of the name of this class you can give me the amount you paid. Another item I would appreciate is if you used Google or Yahoo or a search engine, I would appreciate let, uh, you letting me know what you used and what words or phrases you used to find me. Once I have received this information from you, then I will be able to create your student's account and then I will send you an email. This email will contain a login link. You need to be looking for that email. Here is a sample of the email that you might receive. Of course, everyone's email uh, program looks a little bit different, but you will receive an email that's very basic uh, that says login and you can see my email address here also and this is the one that you are supposed to send me those items. Once you uh, receive this email then you will click the login. At this time you will enter your name and you can choose your password that you want to use and then confirm that password. I'm going to pretend that I'm John J. Uh, and my password, well, I'll keep that to myself. I have set this information and immediately you should be taken to your home page at PB Works. This is your home page. You can see in this area here the name of the class that you joined. John Jay joined my Algebra 1 Review class. In the lower part of this, do you see the word preferences? It says notify me when my workspace changes. Your workspace will change if I edit one of your pages, if I give you a grade or add a new page for a test. It says at most every hour. So you may not want to be notified that often and you can change that to whatever you like here. Up at the top now again we see we have a profile tab. On the profile tab, we have John J. That's the name of the student. His email address is listed. That's really the only information that I have to have is your name and uh, your correct email address. Your email address is used to, for logging in, so if this was not correct, you probably did not get that this far. So if that is the case, if you're watching this video and you still have not heard from me, then please email me again and be sure that your email address is correct. Now click the email tab. On the email tab you will find that you can enter email addresses. Let's add another of your emails. So you may use two email addresses. It's best just to use the one so that we can communicate easily with each other. Now again click the home tab and we will go here now and select the workspace. The workspace is the class. That is where you want to be to do your lessons and your assignments in the workspace. John Jay has joined only one of my classes. If you should join two classes, you will have two things. This is the front page or the beginning page for the Algebra 1 review class. I am uh, logged in as John Jay and you will notice that there is a flag here that says he you have read only access to this page. There are certain pages where you are only allowed to read them. There are a few pages that you will actually be able to write upon. I'll show you those in a few minutes. I will scroll down a little bit. As you can see now the lesson listing is here. The lesson listing <clears throat> there are 18 lessons but if you notice in this area part of this is chopped off. If you would like to see this whole table, scroll back a little here and you'll see this tiny little arrow. Now you can press this arrow and then we can see more of the lessons. Lesson 1 has one assignment. Lesson 2 has two assignments. 
the assignments are what you will, uh, the problems that you will complete for me. You will uh, submit them to the classroom, and I'll show you that in just a few minutes. Let's look at the very top of this page now. Uh, if you want to go back to the workspace area at the home page where you saw those tabs a few minutes ago, you will come here and click workspace. Okay. If you go over here and uh, click your name, you will go back to the profile page we saw a few minutes ago. So if you click your name, you can go and cha make changes to your profile. Now let's look at the Wiki tab. The Wiki tab will always bring you back to this page where you have the listen, lessons all listed for you. So if you get lost or not sure where you are, come back and click the Wiki tab and you'll be back at the main page. You also see the Pages and Files tab. I don't recommend you using it. You can look there if you want to, but I think you'll just mostly get confused. The View tab is here. The View tab will also have an Edit tab beside it later. The View tab is listed here only because you can only read this page. You cannot edit or change it in any way. But the assignment pages where you will submit your work, there will be an edit tab. We'll see it in a few minutes so that you can actually edit those pages. Now remember the little arrow that's over here? We can always click that arrow so that we can see more of this page, but when we do, we can't see the navigator box. Now in the navigator box, you'll see lessons. This is a very important thing for you to see. Some of the uh, classes use the word chapter here, but this one says lessons 1 to 6. So other of my courses may say chapters 1 to 2 or one, 2 to 3. This is a very important folder for you to see. It actually lists all the lessons again, so you can find the lessons either by using the navigator box or by using the wiki tab. I'm going to click the back button and I'm back to the beginning of the navigator box and the other important thing for you to see is the student, student folders. Every student has a folder in this. But as you can see there's only one. Don't think that I only have one student. It's just that each student can only see own folder. This is John Jay's folder. So whatever your name will be here listed under students. Let's click John Jay's folder. I have only put one assignment in his folder and his grade report, but in your folder you will find several assignments that I've already created for you. And these are the ones that you are to complete as you read the lessons. Remember over here in the main page that we had lessons listed and to the right of this we could see the assignments. Well, this is where the assignments will be. You will find the assignments in the navigator box under the student folder, and the student folder will have your name in it, and your, and your assignments will be listed here. Let's click Assignment 1. Here it is. But do you see that we have an Edit tab and a View tab? So you can look at this page. This is the assignment page and you can read it and here are the problems that you're to complete for me but right above that are the instructions so you need to read these well to know what I expect you to do. Once you have completed these problems then you can copy and paste these into your computer or you can write them down on paper. You will return to this page and click the edit tab. Now when you click the edit tab, several things happen. Notice the navigator box has disappeared. I would not recommend you using any of the things on the right. You'll just get very confused. It says if you're ready to submit the assignment, then follow these four steps. It says click the edit tab. Well, so that's why I've already done that. At the top, we click the edit tab. It says copy and paste your work below the gray line. But you can see that you can actually type into this page and put your answers here. And once you have completed all of that, then you'll click the Save button. And you will save this. And when that happens, all your work will be here in the classroom, safe place. And I will come and look at it and give you a score or a grade. For you to email me to let me know that you have completed this assignment, I will come and grade it. If you have any questions, remember you can email me, sojohncy at gmail.com.